My third level one skill in Illustrator is controlling the stroke and color of each of these objects. So these are the shapes that I drew for skill number two, basic shapes. I'm going to go ahead and get some of them off the screen, and I'm just going to kind of select them all with that black arrow and press delete. I want to be just down to this square here that I created. And uh, so every shape has, uh, has a fill and has a stroke. And you've got three options for both fill and stroke. You have a solid fill. Look where my cursor is here. Uh, you have a gradient fill available. And you have no fill, nothing at all. That red slash means none. Uh, the same options are also available for the stroke. The stroke is our word for outline. So we can have a solid outline, solid black in this case. We can have a gradient, and as I click off of that, you can see there's that nice fade from black to white. We'll learn how to control that gradient in level two. And then we also have none, that red slash. So if my shape, of course, has no fill and no stroke, it looks like there's nothing there on my artboard, but that object is still there and available for me to use. If I hit D on my keyboard, that stands for default colors, and it'll change it to a white fill, which is the default, and a one-point black stroke, which is the default for the stroke. If I want to change my fill, I can go over here to my color picker, double-click on it, and this is what comes up. This is kind of a color wheel, this bar here. So it's, you know, you kind of got your Roy G. Biv, red, yellow, green, blue, up to purple, violet, up into red again. Um, and then out here, uh, this is where I'm going to pick based on my saturation and my brightness. So I can get very dark, or I can remove saturation and become very gray, or move up in this direction and become very, very bright. Usually up here, it's very, very saturated. It's hard for the screen to show, and it's not a very complex color. So I like to come down here when I'm picking colors away from that upper right-hand corner. So now I have a nice deep red as my fill color. My stroke color is done the same way. I can double click on the stroke. I'm going to change my fill color to kind of a lime green that'll really contrast that red. And then up at the top, I can control that stroke, kind of like control, controlling the font size in a word processor. Um, so I can click on the up button to make it, I'm now at a 10 point stroke. So there are other ways to control the stroke as well. There's a whole stroke panel for other controls to the stroke. We'll learn about those with time. But that's the basics of how to actually control the colors of the stroke and how thick the stroke is, as well as the color of the fill.